Hey everybody, it's me again, Kale. Here once more playing Final Fantasy VI. The last time we left off, we had repelled Kefka. But then Terra had a strange interaction with the Esper. Something mysterious about her past is catching up to her. She flew off into the night sky as some sort of strange otherworldly being. She's still our friend, and we still have to help her. So, I've assembled a crack team of Locke, Celeste, and Edgar. Because Locke's a badass, Celeste can use magic, and Edgar, he knows the way. Um, we're going to head out, see if we can't locate her, her whereabouts, right after we deal with these rabbits. Yay! We're victorious. Also, none of us are very colorful. I mean, we're, I mean, Lope rocks that blue. Don't get me wrong. Then we got, like, green and blue. White and green. We're, we're a very, like, similarly colored party now. Also, can I just say, pop collar vest? It's pretty slick. It's pretty slick. Um, all right, how do I make this thing go, Edgar? I usually know the technicians, but if I remember right, there should be a command console in the basement. Lots of requests this month. This month. But if it's your wish, I'll take you beyond the mountains. Kolingan, then. This really is a technical marvel you've built, Edgar. It is honestly impressive. I don't need to stroke my ego all that much, guys. I'm not. It's amazing. It can only surface in loose earth deserts, so there is limitations to it, but... The tunnel between here and Kolingan is pretty established now. Well... We'll stop back next time. Thank you. I know we need to travel light today. Don't worry about it. Let's get the Kolingan. You can ask around for information there. Like I said, I... I know the place. You sure? Yeah. Gotta face the past someplace. Is Loke okay? He's... not his usual... jovial self. Loke has history in Kolingan. Best not to aggravate it. Understood. Everyone was scared when the glowing creatures stopped here. Left to the south towards Jador. But Jador? That shining creature was so frightening to us. To us all, but I found it rather beautiful. Flying glowing creature, gentle eyes. Sounds like our mark. A sequin dress? It's pretty ostentatious. But I like it. Hold on to your dreams. Yeah. Eh! Is that you, look? Have you stopped to see her, Rachel? Uh, my brother's a bit touched. He lives alone to the north and dreams of building a coliseum. Oh. Came to my house. A monster of light. Look, 
almost human. Did a number on your house, though. Wow, my goodness. I am so sorry for your loss. You guys got anything? Nice, 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 nice. Very nice. Oh, just more stuff from uh, Narche. That's fine, because I still don't have much money. <sighs> I wasn't able to save her when she needed me. Look! What do we have to find today? Soon, you'll... <laughs> You're not gonna believe what awaits us up here. Come on! It's worth a fortune! <laughs> look! Look out! Rachel! She's lost her memory. Wait a minute. She said yes. We were. Oh, I don't know who you are, but ever since you came here, my parents have been upset. Best leave Rachel alone. Just going to have to make up a new start of it. And Mark, you'll be in here doesn't help. Mm. A year passed. When I returned here, I. And that Rachel had perished in an Imperial attack. Her memory returned just before she passed away. The last thing she uttered was my name. I should never have left her side. I I failed her. Let's let's go. We we got work to do. Take all the time you need, friend. Fuck. Keeps ghosts under his house. Well, that's spooky. Um, hold on. I also know he keeps secrets in his back door. Told you. Can anyone else equip those? Yes, please. Also, because green berets raise HP, and I'm all for that. Quite safe. <laughs> I used some herbs to put her into suspended animation. She won't age a day. <laughs> That's what you wanted, right? I had to use my herbs, I did. Yes. Herbs.
Rachel. You mean those herbs have actually saved her? Of course. The love of your life will sleep here like this forever. <laughs> What if there way to, what if there were some way to call her back? Yeah, we could call her back. She'd come back. <laughs> her body is perfectly preserved like this. Her only problem is her spirit. But you <laughs> I'm sure you'll find something that'll bring her around. Someday. <laughs> Feller. Excuse me. Herbs. Mm. Mark. Yeah, he's got... Locke's got problems. Just like everybody. Anyway... Let's... Stop by the local tavern before we head out. I know that theme music. It's the only theme music cooler than mine. Shadow, you son of a bitch! Loke, you... Annoyance. We meet again. Just need enough to feed my dog. Three thousand? Be right back, buddy. I need to make three thousand gold. I'm sorry, Gil. Always jumping back, jumping back and forth between Gill and Gold systems. Uh, 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 uh. No, not those. Uh, it's all that. I need that. Need that. I need the cotton robe anymore. I want the rune edge. Well, it does eat up MP. That's probably one of a kind, though. I don't think I ever really need more sprint shoes. Oh, so close. Although, just want to appreciate my current tens and uh, single digits places real quick. Nice. Wait! Wait! Shut up and take my money! Nice. Nice. I'm mature, you guys. Imperial? Do I have anything for his head? Damn it. I'd feel bad if he didn't have any headgear. Did I sell my extra headband? Damn it. Um. Kung Fu suit. Screw that. Um. I don't need too many of those.
Oh, the hard choices in life. I need just a little bit more. Uh, um. No uh, bollocks. Sure. There we go. Temporary as he may be, he still deserves headgear. And what? What amazing headgear a headband is. There you go, bud. Alright, I remember that I bought you that, too. And I'll leave you my party. At least not until we're finished with what we need to do. Let's march! To Jador! For more info. Doggo! Couple of LTLs. See how you hold up to this. Nice. I want a mithril knife. How does that stack up with everything else I have? Eh. I think mithril knives were fairly early on, weren't they? Yeah, I think I bought those in Figaro. I guess you just die never having told me something. I'm not too broken up about that. Look at all these mithril knives I can sell! Ah, Jador. Capital of rich, pompous assholes. You'd fit in really well here, Edgar. Wow. Thanks, Locke. I thought we were friends and, and colleagues. <sighs> yeah, doesn't mean I can't rib you every now and again. This is Jador, the westernmost town on the world map. I know this is sudden, but I thought I'd inform you of this random brief bit of trivia. Thanks. Sure, why not? Yeah, I suppose I could hand off the mithril vest to my boy Edgar then. Sure. Looks fine for me. Yeah! Ooh, more magic power, heck yeah. And I'm throw a vest for my boy, Edgar. <sighs> Everything's coming up quite rosy now. Let's check out their weapon shop over here. 
The poor people have left here for the mountains of the north. Uh, they've built a town. It's so quaint and full of skyscrapers. Mm, yes. Bunch of liars up in Zozo. <laughs> Never can trust them. Uh, silly poor people in there bibbing. The Kaiser? The Kodachi? I kinda wanna get a Kodachi from a boy. And now I can. I want to be an opera singer when I grow up. Our house? It's far to the south. What, are you a dum-dum? No, we're just not from around here. Wow, kid. <laughs> this region is very class conscious. In the south part of town live the middle class. And the rich folks live to the north. It's a very sustainable system. A girl wrapped in fire sped off to the north, into the mountains, near that filthy peasant town. Maria the opera singer is gorgeous. Alright, creeper, slow your roll. Once in a while, one of the idiots from Zozo wandered down here, looking for an easy mark. <laughs> Watch your wallet. I trust that my incredibly pompous rich person accent is uh, accurate enough for uh, your liking, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Man, look at this house! You're the spitting image of Maria. Hmm. Haven't heard of her? She's a famous opera singer. New young lady could pass for her in a heartbeat. Right dress, a little bit, a uh, slightly different hairstyle. Spitting image. Picture of old urn. Looks awfully familiar. Ah, I know that. It's armor. It's an eclectic art collection. I knew it. Give me your pot treasure. <sighs> okay. Anything else up here? We've covered most everything in this area. Any money? I don't have any money, which means the uh, the auction house isn't going to be worth much to me. Hey, you're not from around here. You look like a dork. First time I've been here. This ain't a kind of place for a poor person like myself who usually comes. I gotta refuse those cute little eyes, my darling boy. Papa, let's buy lots of stuff today, too. You can get some priceless things at this auction. Whether you can appreciate them or not, who knows? I need something that will bring back wayward spirits. But only in the Imperial Capital of Vector does such a thing exist. Sounds terrifying. You like art? <laughs> no. Philistines! Every last one of you. <laughs> There's nothing I can't buy. I'm so very rich, you see.
People of Jadora have always angered me. Anyway. Let's let's do the only civilized thing that we could do. And hop a chocobo to the to the north. Oh, I'm poor! Shit! Hold on. I am probably still like a shuriken or something. I'm not that poor. Um. There we go. I don't need much money going into adventure. You get money for adventuring. That's that's the logical outcome. Yes. Give me Chocobo. Anyway, I'm going to leave us off right here with us circling the town of Jojo. I know what it is, it's Sozo, but but it's going to be a bizarre adventure, adventure, so I thought I'd, you know, give us the right attitude. Anyway, I hope you're all enjoying yourselves as we prance about on a chocobo just outside of our next dungeon. If you are, please let know down below, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll come back next time. Let's see if we can't find Terra lingering here. Until then, though, you'll have yourselves a just day. I'll see you next adventure. Later!